Hello, this is Elaine with Elaine's Creations. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make this flower pot easel card with the Cottage Rose Bundle, which is part of the Abigail Rose Suite. Here is a flower pot easel card. These are super cute and fun, and they're also pretty easy to make. So we're gonna start with a piece of crumb cake four and a quarter by 11, and it's scored at two and three quarters and five and a half. So basically it's scored in half and then in half again. And I'm gonna fold this one back. I'm um, not gonna fold it forward like a typical easel card, but I'm gonna fold this one back. Um, I've got a couple pieces of designer series paper here. So um, this piece is a four and an eighth by two and five eighths. And I'll adhere this to the top portion of the card as a background. And then this piece measures four and an eighth by five and three quarters. And I'm going to place this inside the card. All right, I have uh, cut out some of this paper from the designer series paper. So this bundle has the Cottage Rose stamp set and the Cottage Flowers dies. And you have this die that cuts out this set of flowers and this die cuts out the leaves. And then you've got all these extra dies this die actually coordinates with the designer series paper. You can use it to create a window or peekaboo card where you cut a piece and then you put the designer series paper behind it like this. So here's the paper. I uh, cut the image out of that first one right there, but we've got lots of other images. This is the paper that I was talking about to use that die with. And so I've already cut and colored um, this piece right here. And each one is a little bit different, so it's fun. You can um, kind of experiment how you want to place the flowers. I also have a piece of two and three quarters by two and three quarter square of early espresso. And I'm going to mark the edges one half inch in from the sides. And I'll use the paper trimmer to trim off the edge. So from the top right corner to the mark that I made. And then same thing on the other side. And this creates our flower pot. So we're just gonna attach the flower pot to the top of the card, only using adhesive on the top of the flower pot and place it about there. Then we're going to decide how we want the flowers. And I think I want them like this. You could adjust them up or down or however you want them. Just remember not to put any adhesive or dimensionals that are not on the top half and the flower pot because you will stick your card closed. So I'm just gonna put some dimensionals. I used the Brother Scan and Cut to cut this piece out and my mat was so sticky that it curled the paper when I removed it a little bit. So putting on a little bit more dimensionals than, although I do use a lot of dimensionals. Okay, we'll go like, I think it looks best like this for this flower to kind of be up. All right, so that's our flower pot. Now we just need to create the stop. 
So I have a piece of basic white and I'm going to use the Early Espresso ink. And I'm gonna stamp, you are positively the greatest. And then I'm going to use the All That dies from the He's All That suite of products. And I have my mini die cutting and embossing. And I am going to place the number one and number two plates. Um, then my sentiment and my die. And then my cutting plate on top. And I'm gonna offset it. And then run it through. And here's my label. And I'm gonna put two dimensionals on the label. And then I'm going to place it on the card. I'm just going to kind of try to hide it beneath the pot. So I think about there would be great. So about right there. And then that creates our stop. And then we have it hidden mostly behind the flower pot. Then I'm going to use the natural finish ribbon to tie a bow. I'm gonna do a little trick where I'm going to fold it in half and I'm gonna use my little bow, my bow buddy or my bow easy which is just two pieces of cardboard um, glued together and then a hole punched in the middle and then um, a groove cut to the hole. So I'm gonna trim this off about there and I'm going to bring this all the way over and make a loop, stick that down in there and then keep this loop over to the right as I pull this up through and then tuck this back up into the loop and pull. So just keep pulling. And then it creates this really nice bow that has both the tails behind it. And then I can open the ribbon back up to be full width. And then I'm going to, again, use my scissors and cut off the ends in a V to create this cute little banner end. So fold it in half and cut a V. And there's my cute little bow. a glue dot to attach my bow and I'm gonna put the bow over here so that's my flower pot easel card I'm offering a free card class when you purchase this bundle it includes supplies for six cards You can also place a $40 order using my host code and email me and let me know that you would like this card kit and I will send it right out to you.